So hey guys welcome back in this video we will be solving again the transfer function we have to find zfs by rfs using what block reduction method okay so here they have given this diagram over here okay let us see what will be the first step first step is to check for what series or parallel combination series or parallel combination so here in this diagram if you see uh we are not getting any series or parallel combination right but this two will be in series if i remove this take off point then only they will be in series understand so what i can do i can just remove that uh, remove means you have to either shift to the left side or right side always try to shift the take off point towards the right side always try to shift the take off point towards the right side okay so i'll just shift this take off point towards the right side okay fine so i'll shift it over here then i can add, then i can say that these two blocks will be in series so what i'll do i'll just shift to that block so what will happen now i'll just draw that thing so rfs is sitting over here then one summing point is there so rfs is there summing point is there then another summing point came over here then g1 will be here then g2 will come right then one more summing point is there then g4 then your output will be there right c of s will be there now here what you need to understand that i have to shift to that summing point so before that what i can do i can just draw rest all things one feedback is going to this uh summing point which is nothing but h2 feedback is towards that okay next what else is going here one more feedback from the output which is going towards the summing point over here yeah so i can uh, draw that feedback over here which is h1 right h1 feedback which is going towards the summing point this thing minus sign be careful with the signs also so i have to shift this from here one takeoff point is there i have to shift this takeoff point to this part so what should i do you have to take reciprocal of that block so which line you are shifting that line in that line you have to add right so this this was the line over here which had this block g3 block right g3 block which is going towards this summing point so i'll be shifting this part of the line to this point right so what will happen i have to take a reciprocal so when you shift the takeoff point after the block after the block you have to always take what reciprocal of that so reciprocal means what will happen i can write it as what um g3 is already sitting over here then one more block will come which will be reciprocal of that block which is g2 then you have to add it to what summing point and where is that another one another point will go towards this thing i hope you understood what i am trying to do okay so i have to remove this what take a point so i'll explain you once again so what i have done here a little bit confusion will be there so basically here was the takeoff point i have shifted this takeoff point towards this thing so i am jumping over this block right this block so i have to take reciprocal of that block and add it to where where should i should place that block that you should place it in that line which line we had here we had this g g3 block right so g3 block was sitting over here so g3 block was sitting over here so that line i have shifted so that means i have to add that block in that line right so simply i have added added means basically in that line that block should come so g3 and g2 are in series now i hope you are getting my point g3 and g2 are in series now so this block i can convert directly into one single block because whenever series will come you can directly multiply g3 by g2 i hope you understood okay now it is clear here plus sign all the signs be careful whatever signs are there just be careful one more uh, feedback is there which is coming from the output itself right so before that one more thing you can solve so this is one feedback which is coming from the output directly but there is no uh, given thing so from here we are getting one more feed yeah, they have not given the gain so if they don't mention the game you have to understand the gain is one always remember gain is one now here this loop this this is a minor loop this is a minor loop this you can solve minor loop you can solve how to solve minor loops always remember it is basically what i'll just solve uh, solve and tell you so the rfs is there one uh, summing point 
another summing point then these two are in what series now because takeoff point has gone so these two are in series series means you have to multiply so it will be g1 into g2 then one uh, takeoff point will be there then from there takeoff point which block will come uh, d3 by so one block will come which is d3 by g2 block will come right then from here it will go towards the summing point of the next one okay so it will go towards the summing point then after uh, you now we are going to resolve this part so this part will resolve how to resolve it is g of s by 1 plus or minus g of s into h of s so what is g of s here g of s is nothing but g4 what is h of s h of s is nothing but h1 what is plus or minus which sign i should take plus or minus i should take minus because here feedback what is the sign the sign is minus so i should take plus if minus is there opposite sign plus i should take so this block becomes what this block becomes g4 which is g of s by 1 plus what is g of s g4 what is h of s h1 right i hope you understood and it will go towards the what it will go towards the uh, output sign which is c of s from c of s again one feedback is there right that feedback you shouldn't miss which is having no uh what is that no this thing which is having no gain so i said already we should take it as one one more feedback minor feedback is there which is coming from this point and this is nothing but h2 which is going towards the summing point of this thing so here minus sign here minus sign be careful with the signs always remember okay summing point be careful with the signs okay so anyways this is fine now let us uh, see this part this part again it is forming a minor loop so minor loop again we can solve using what g of s by r of s formula so i'll use another pen to solve this one so here we are getting r of s is sitting over here then summing point came now this entire block will be solving using what minor loop concept which is nothing but g of s what is g of s here g1 g2 by 1 here minus sign is there for the feedback so i, do, I should take it as plus what is g of s again g1 g2 what is h of s here it is h2 right h2 so this thing will be one block so i have converted that into one single block now what is left out now here this part is left out right now what will be this part how to solve this part now here you will be having confusion what you what you have to do here so actually actually what is there See here there is no gain only if gain is there you can say is that these two are in parallel right so if gain is not there in this uh, ongoing line that is nothing but from this takeoff point to this summing point there is no gain only so what you can write there you can put one gain it is anyways it is forward path so this is not a feedback loop this is not a minor loop it is not a loop okay so these two lines this line and this line will be in parallel but there is no gain in this line so i can put here one gain it as gain as what one whenever you are not getting gain you put it as one simple so here these two are in what parallel not minor loop always remember a minor loop will be one feedback will be there this these two are in forward path for same path same direction that two will be in parallel parallel means what i should do i should add both so adding both what will happen one plus g3 by g2 this is an important concept you need to understand okay both are in forward direction or same direction so both will be in parallel so you have to add both so one plus g3 by g2 then what is left out then we are having one more now what is left out here here what is left out here we are having here 4 by 1 plus g4 h1 sitting over here right so now what is output c of s now you might be confused with this part where is that summing point right where is that summing point over here so actually what i have done i have we have discussed this in the parallel combination parallel rule that whenever you are getting what summing point with this thing that too this entire thing you are considering it as what parallel right so this entire thing is parallel that you have converted into 1 plus g3 by g2 always remember okay so this thing is done now next part now again you can see what is there 
one feedback loop which is coming towards this summing point right this summing point so i'll take it from the output of this thing here again no feedback is there so i should consider it as one here minus sign be careful with the signs okay now these three loops sorry these three gains or the transfer function blocks we can say it as what th these three blocks are in series when these three blocks are in series i can directly multiply them yes correct i can convert this three these three blocks into one single block which is rfs here one summing point will is there then i'll convert just multiply these three so it will be g1 g2 right g1 g2 then what is left out to then this part i can simplify right this part i can write it as what g2 so this i'll simplify here and write it is basically g2 plus g3 by g2 i have taken lcm right g2 plus g3 by g2 so this is nothing but simplified part if you want you can do it in a next step also okay otherwise i have just mentioned over here okay, let's write it okay so i can just multiply here so numerator part i'll multiply g1 g2 into g2 plus g3 into g4 right divided by numerator what uh, denominator what all things will come 1 plus g1 g2 h2 okay into what is there g2 is there then into 1 plus g4 h1 right now uh, now what is left out can i cancel g2 and g2 from here yes of course you can cancel now this will be your block this will be your block right this will be your block it's having this uh, transfer function where is the output output will be over here c of s now here always remember down one more thing is there feedback so feedback also you have to put it it will be like this feedback is not mentioned so you can put it as what one from here it will go towards the coming point minus sign. they are mentioned in the question now i can i have to solve this one so what is this one these two blocks are a minor loop right minor loop because this is a feedback and this is a uh, the answer function block forward path gain block block so i can apply again the same thing g of s by one plus or minus g of s into h of s okay so i'll apply again so it will be r of s then summing block i can remove so after last step is nothing but you have to resolve this so you can avoid this diagram you can directly write c of s by c of s by r of s output by input is equal to now last step always c of s by r of s this we are resolving it is g of s g of s is nothing but g1 into g2 plus g3 into g4 divided by 1 plus g2 sorry g1 g2 into h2 multiplied with 1 plus g4 h1 okay divided by 1 plus or minus here you can see minus sign is sitting so opposite sign will be plus so 1 plus g of s into r of s uh, sorry g of s into h of s g of s again g1 g2 plus g3 into g4 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 into h2 right 1 plus g4 h1 okay into what is h1 uh, sorry h of s h of s is one as i said before h of s is one so you can write if you want you can write multiply with one otherwise you can leave it anyways uh it is the same thing okay so this is your final answer but if you want you can simplify again we'll simplify this one i'll just show you how to simplify that so i'll just out to feel further simplify so be careful you have to see g1 g2 plus g3 into g4 sitting up divided by 1 plus g1 g2 into h2 into 1 plus g4 h1 right 1 plus g4 h1 all divided by what we are going to do we are going to take the lcm so just multiply this with this so it will be 1 plus g1 g2 into h2 then 1 plus g4 h1 plus who is sitting over here these people so it will be g1 g2 plus g3 to 4 whole thing divided by whole thing divided by 
this this guy will come again so 1 plus g1 g2 h2 into 1 plus g4 h1 because most of the test tubes what they will do they will directly solve this one i hope you are getting my point but i don't want to do that because you need to understand how we are getting that getting that answer okay so i want you to understand that so denominator if you see this thing and this thing both are same so i'll cancel it out so what is the final answer you're getting so i can write as r of s g c of s by r of s is equal to g1 and g1 is sitting here g4 is sitting here i'll just combine it so g1 g4 into g2 plus g3 divided by now what is left out denominator this part is left out there is nothing but 1 plus g1 g2 into h2 multiplied with 1 plus g4 h1 plus g1 i'll put g4 first then g2 plus okay so i hope you are getting my point what we are trying to do now if you want you can simplify further by multiplying so i'll do that also so c of s by r of s because we'll try to get the answer okay in the simplified form if you want you can multiply this and this so what will happen g1 g4 multiply with g2 it is g2 plus g1 g4 multiplied with g3 it is g3 divided by down if you multiply this and this what will happen one you multiply with this two okay so it will be one into one one plus one into g4 h1 plus now you multiply this and this right so it will be g1 g2 into h2 plus g1 g2 g4 into h2 h1 right what i did actually here i have multiplied this and this right that's why i got this one now okay plus here again i can multiply this one this one anyways this one is same as this one i can just copy paste the numerator so g1 g4 uh, g2 g1 g4 g2 plus g1 g4 now if anything is common you can take otherwise leave it over here this will be your final c of s by r of s i hope you understood what we are trying to do so if you want you can simplify learn how to simplify things okay just we are taking uh, lcm and just simplifying it okay so if you are not getting time just leave it over here then you proceed with other sums if you are getting time kindly solve it till here